to move on, we have a much more involved picture. And this will show this was this uh, diagrams are very useful in uh, for medical learning because they have a lot of information. And uh, and and it's a compact version. That's instead of having pages of uh, of reading, you it's lots of information is compacted into a diagram. So if you think of that in diagrams, they'll be helpful. Um, so now we see that this is our another distribution. We see we see that we have three compartments: plasma, interstitial fluid, and intracellular fluid down here. Now we've already seen, we've already talked about intracellular fluid, and now we want, to, and we're talking now we're talking about extracellular fluid. Uh, I mean, if this is intracellular fluid, then you could see that. Oops. Oops. We can see that that plasma and interstitial fluid are are considered extracellular fluid it's outside the cells extracellular fluid and we see that in these three compartments that plasma is separated by these uh, capillaries capillary and these capillaries are not they have holes in them they're communicating with the interstitial fluid and then we see that the intracellular fluid has a more stronger barrier. The cell cell walls, each cell, the cell walls has a stronger barrier that uh, tightly regulates what's going in and what's going out of the cell. So this this barrier has no holes in them. Are you know those, there's 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 channels, but they're regulated. And the plasma is more openly communicating with the interstitial fluid. And there therefore you could you could assume that the interstitial fluid is a link between the plasma and the cell inside the cell, the intercellular fluid, and we see that right here. That's in between the capillary, uh, between the plasma and in between the intercellular fluid. And we see also in this diagram, we see that the interstitial fluid surrounds our organs. Our, you know, it's 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 called interstitial for tissue spaces, interstitial spaces, and it's, this includes tissue and lymph. And um, and so we see that it's it's surrounding our or much of our organs, uh, stomach and in the intestinal tract. And we see our lungs down here, and we see the kidneys down here, and we could also see that there's a, a pattern here too. That um, you uh, you eat food. You when you eat, uh, you could you're ingesting fluids and solids and uh, whatnot into here. And then you expel uh, from here, the other end of the, from your mouth. This is your mouth. This is uh, your uh, anus. So you're ingesting food. It's a one-way track, hopefully. And and then you also see that the lungs are, we are expelling and inhaling. And we, when when we, we're inhaling vapor, uh, you know, uh, so this this adds to our uh, this another way means of entry and exit of um, a fluid, and we see that skin. This this is our skin, and we see that uh, we sweat and we're we're expelling fluid, and we see the kidneys. We obviously we urinate, and this is another way of exit. And then and then we, uh, oh, I, sh I forgot to mention that. Obviously, the lungs uh, communicate with the, much of the organs, and so we we maybe draw a line like this. It's or you know we breathe in air and uh, water vapor, and this will con communicate with uh, other organs. And then we also see the same thing here, where our excuse me, that's. Uh, we're we're not uh, our stomach are is we pump in juice into the stomach, and and then we also see that uh, our intestines also 
we're absorbing and uh, secreting. So stomach, we're secreting, and intestinal tract, we're also absorbing and secreting. So uh, this is th these are these are multiple ways of entering and and transportation and exiting of fluids. So if we if we assume we have a forty liter about a forty liters of total body of water, so we set we set we talked about seventy two seventy two kilogram individual. Now we just rounded down to like forty. Let's do a different color. If if about forty uh, liters of total body of water. Then we see that um, we will we can calculate that about uh, sixty. We have already talked about it. So we uh, sixty six percent, two thirds of total body water is intracellular fluid, and then uh, one third of inner body uh, total body water is an extracellular fluid divided between plasma and interstitial fluid, and so we could calc and typically. Um, Plasma is is three liters, which is about eight percent of total body of water, and uh, the interstitial fluid is twelve liters, which is about uh, twenty five percent of total body of water, and then uh, and, uh, and then of course the twenty this is twenty five liters. The intracellular fluid is twenty five liters. So if you keep those in mind, you should be good. And now we, I should also uh, provide a distinction. Uh, plasma. So the capillaries, the blood, you know, our blood vessels has blood and plasma. And so what is that? We, we have in the in the blood vessels we have red blood cells and plasma. So that's really if you really think about the blood volume as a fluid compartment. And this compartment has uh, blood volume has like includes plasma which is extracellular blood volume includes plasma uh, which is extracellular fluid plus um, red blood cells which is intracellular fluid So we, we see that blood volume is a compartment and includes plasma, extracellular fluid, plus intracellular fluid, which is red blood cells. So when we're talking about uh, when we're talking about uh, the uh, vasculature, uh, blood vessels, and we're talking about extracellular fluid, we're talking about plasma, and that is three liters.